Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, tonight gives me a little more optimism in the fact that tomorrow we're probably going to see more sun than we've seen the past couple of days. Thus, as expected, it looks like tomorrow we'll begin our warm up as we head into the upcoming weekend across the area. Tonight, though, with those clearing skies and light winds, it's going to be another cool one out there, feeling like fall again. 61 degrees right now at the airport. The winds are calm, and look at the dew point in the mid 50s. That means temperatures will continue to fall to at least probably about 56 overnight tonight. Most areas are already down. Into the 50s, especially away from the urban areas. Check out Harrison at 58, Batesville now down to 59. It's even cooler north and east of the Ohio River. 57, Wilmington, Batavia, Peebles now down to 59. Meanwhile, low 60s across much of the bluegrass tonight. 60 in Mason, 57 right now up in Hamilton. Here's a look at your weather headlines. Summer is not over. A matter of fact, it's coming back with a vengeance. By that, I mean temperatures close to 90 by this time next week, and we'll throw in some humidity with that as well. Rain chances, they're going to creep back into the forecast. While they're not terribly high, or should I say there's not many of them, Sunday right now looks like our best opportunity to get wet. And yes, at the bottom of the screen here, we're talking about Tropical Storm Erica tonight, which will likely become a hurricane over the weekend and be positioned somewhere in the vicinity of the southeast coast of the United States and keeping a very close eye on Florida. Tonight, lows down into the mid 50s for many of us again, but away from the city, even cooler. Wilmington 53, down to about 52 tonight in Mount Orb. Same story in Hamilton 55 in Brookville, to about 56. Walton 55 there in Falmouth and Brooksville as well. So mid 50s overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, with more sunshine, highs will finally crack the 80 degree mark for the majority of us. Tomorrow looks like a beautiful ending to the week and a great summer day across the area. So tonight, that cloud cover finally burning off across the area as high pressure slides in. I do think again tomorrow, some clouds will attempt to build in at least early in the day, maybe mid-morning through early afternoon before scouring out for more sun late. So here's a look at Futurecast. Quiet overnight tonight. Again tomorrow, expecting some decent sunshine across the area, along with a few more clouds, but less than we've seen here as of late. Great tomorrow night and a nice looking Saturday, albeit Saturday does look a little bit warmer. And you notice some of these green blotches beginning to return. That's kind of indicative of those humidity levels. As the winds turn out of the south, humidity levels will begin to creep up. But I think any rain opportunities will really hold off till Sunday for us. Pretty easy to pick out where Erica is located tonight, right there to the south and east of San Juan, Puerto Rico. After moving through the Leeward Islands, it's going to pass over Puerto Rico tonight with heavy rain. Right now, because the maximum sustained winds are only about 45 miles an hour, so it's not an incredibly strong tropical storm. The biggest threat right now is rain. However, look at the, the trajectory here in the track. It takes it off the southeast coast of Florida, close to Miami by Sunday afternoon as a strong tropical storm, and then actually intensifies it as it parallels the coast of Florida. Now, here's the wild card. It could end up anywhere within this actual cone. So it could be to the east of Florida in the Atlantic, or it could be in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Right now, most of the late night computer models are trending to keep it on the east coast of Florida. The problem is, beyond this time frame, there's evidence that Erica could sit out here and spin for a while and actually impact not only Florida, but a large chunk of the southeastern United States. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens as the tropics are now starting to heat up. So around here, that dip in the jet stream is lifting out, and that spells the warm-up coming our way for the upcoming weekend. A matter of fact, the warm-up that's going to move into our area this weekend could have a huge impact on where Erica actually ends up going off the southeast coast. We'll have a ridge of high pressure building in that will bring us that summer-like weather, and that may actually kind of keep Erica at bay, at least away from us, but could have it staying around the southeast coast a little bit longer. So tonight around here, though, no problems, 57 for an overnight low. And then tomorrow, expect it to become sunny, warm and nice. A little bit warmer tomorrow as we make our way into the low 80s. Here's your day planner, 59 at 8 a.m., 77 by lunchtime. And then on our way into the low 80s, here's your seven-day forecast. There's your taste of summer returning across the area. Afternoon highs will climb close to 90 by next week. And notice those lows at night creeping up closer to 70. That lets you know it's going to be a little bit muggier out there. And there's your best shot at rain Sunday with maybe some lingering downpours into Monday. Definitely going to feel the difference there. <laughs>